Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, maybe your comment or your video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Tarzan, King of the Jungle, and Grug, King of the Caves. Which one of these two survivors of the wild will win in a fight to the finish? This is Universes. Alrighty, how on earth do I go over this backstory again without sounding like I'm repeating myself since Tarzan has already been on the show before? I guess I'll just word things differently, or I could spend this whole bio section going back and forth on how I'm going to cover Tarzan's backstory without actually covering it. Wouldn't that just be awful and annoying? I mean, not only would people who haven't seen Peter Pan vs. Tarzan miss out on Tarzan's history, but it would also show how clumsy of a writer I am, as typing down this improvised stuff is way easier than finding a different way to tell the same story. I'm making it seem way harder than it actually is, aren't I? Anyways, I should just suck it up and get to dropping some Tarzan info in your faces. Oh, shoot, almost out of time. Scene's about to transition, okay, oh, the, uh, monkeys raise monkey man, monkey man meets girl, stops hunter, the end. Now, with that incredibly descriptive and helpful bio of Tarzan's story, you can probably figure out that he was, in fact, raised by monkeys. And as such, he grew up watching and learning their every move. Tarzan is capable of performing several acrobatics as he swings on vines, slides on trees, and leaps across the jungle. Not only do all these tricks make him incredibly mobile and agile, but doing this stuff his entire life gave him a very athletic and muscular body that helps out with some feats we'll get into later. Growing up with gorillas also helped Tarzan to adopt their natural instincts. He's always very stealthy and careful when approaching something new, hiding in the trees, smelling for danger, you name it. Tarzan can also play tricks on his foes by copying animals and sounds almost perfectly. From speaking baboon to making shotgun sounds, he can do it all. There were some things he came up with on his own, like when he made a spear for hunting and fighting. Tarzan is also pretty smart, too. After meeting Jane and a few other humans, Tarzan was able to learn the English language in a matter of days. He also learned reading, riding a bike, and more in just a matter of weeks. This man is built to survive way more than just the jungle. In fact, considering what he's capable of, you could even say he was made for the jungle. Tarzan is capable of fighting off animals like leopards. He's strong enough to climb up a rushing waterfall, move boulders and elephants, and even hold down a silverback gorilla. Silverback gorillas can lift around 6,000 pounds, about 15 times their own 400 pound weight. That's pretty strong. It's consistent too as he can hold the jaws of crocodiles who can bite down with a force of over 5,000 pounds. Tarzan can also handle plenty of punishment, like when he fell from several feet in the air and completely smashed a pile of large wooden crates, and also some lava serving that makes no sense. But as I was saying, Tarzan is also speedy enough for the jungle. He can outpace gorillas and elephants, both of which can reach up to 25 miles per hour while running. Tarzan also has supersonic feats from dodging Clayton's shotgun. Since Tarzan didn't know what a gun was at this point, we can't simply shrug it off as aim dodging. It's a feat! But let's see if Grug has one foot ahead in this battle. No matter where I go, you will always be my mother. Now there comes a time where things change. There are many people who believe you should go with the flow and accept all change, which in my opinion is a terrible idea. Because while I do like spicing things up every now and then, not all change is good change. And that's something Grug and I have in common. I mean, when all your neighbors get killed violently before your very eyes, it kind of makes sense not to change your hiding spot from the safe, quiet cave that has been your shelter from the chaos for your entire life. But what exactly happens for the rest of your life when that cave is no longer there? Our caveman Grug had to find out the answer the hard way. When faced with the supposed end of the world, Grug had to do the hard task of letting go of every rule he's ever known. He had to learn how to adapt, how to change. Luckily for him, his several vicious traits as a caveman made this transition way easier to muscle through. Now Grug doesn't appear to have very much when it comes to his arsenal, but that is made up for in his abilities. Grug has extremely heightened senses. His sense of sight, hearing, and smell are clearly stronger than a normal man, and he uses this to his advantage. He can sniff out danger, see and hear things coming from far away, and react accordingly. Grug is also a surprisingly good organizer, as he's able to instruct and coach his family when they go out hunting. He's very careful and very aware of his surroundings, which may not seem like much to you guys, but there's no such thing as being too careful. While he may lack ideas, Grug is still very resourceful. He'll launch and chuck everything he can find in the environment at his enemies, using everything as a weapon. He's even got some good strategies like screaming violently at others in attempts to scare them off. 
While Grug may not have weapons, there's nothing stopping him from making a very special one. So if Grug ever finds a pair of sticks or some flint, you're in hot blazing trouble. So again, while Grug may not have much to work with from the start, he can make stuff to work with and turn into a deadly weapon himself. I mean, he definitely is built to be a weapon. Grug is strong enough to move gigantic boulders, wrestle incredibly large animals, and survive tons of physical abuse without taking much permanent damage. This includes long falls, being smashed into gigantic rocks, and even the shockwave from a crumbling mountain. He once also kicked a log into the distance farther than the eye can see. Using the length and diameter of this log, I calculated that it weighs about 302 pounds. It was hollowed out, so it probably weighs a lot less, but I did what I could. Anyways, assuming the log traveled a full mile from the kick, Grug should have been able to strike with 0.004 tons of TNT. That's on the very, very high end of wall level, right under small building level. Grug is also incredibly fast and has a pretty high stamina. He can sprint at crazy speeds for long periods of time, able to outpace creatures that resemble woolly mammoths capable of charging at 26 miles per hour. So with that strength and speed of a caveman, is he enough to stop the king of the jungle? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. I am a caveman! No, 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 wait! Yo, what up, guys? My name is Darkness Explorer, and this is our universe's prediction for Grug versus Tarzan. And right now, I think Grug is gonna win. Here's why: in strength, Tarzan managed to hold back a superback gorilla, which no, I'm not gonna say anything bad to it, which is pretty impressive. But Grug has shown feats of moving like big boulders and able to toss, you know. You know, full grown, pe um, full gr like a full grown man, man, and you know, adults, you know, across an entire crater and toss to his, you know, obese son, which we could pretty much argue that he is over 200 pounds, and he threw over, a, over, a, you know, a crack in the ground, which is more, which is pretty much more impressive than, um, Pretty much the things we've seen for tar from seen from Tarzan, but okay. So strength goes to Grug, and then speed. It's pretty really difficult in movement speed. Grug kind of beats Tarzan by a bit, and reaction time. Tarzan manages to dodge a shotgun shot, which makes Grug pretty uh, like inadequate. Like, so yeah, I, I um, speed goes to Tarzan just because that shotgun shot dodge speed. Speed. <laughs> then um, and our ability. Sure. Um, when Tarzan was a kid, he managed to survive a uh, fall to his stomach fall to water, which at like it was a big fall for a little kid, and at that point he would have broken like most of his bones and him and as an adult he survived big like falls from trees which you know which kill humans in seconds just saying one thing would pretty much make Grug win durability he survived like a lightning strike hitting him which you know people say oh People have survived lightning, but it's just some random chance. Because a, there was one person who survived lightning because it's like her iPod was like about like one offer for chess, and her iPod grabbed the lightning to that iPod, and she technically did not survive if she if the iPod didn't wasn't there, and she would have been you know dead. And lightning's temperature could go. Could be so hot, it could be hotter than the surface of the sun, which makes Grug's durability somewhat, you know, city level. You know, two share or something. <laughs> Making them city level. Not star level since, you know, that's science. Uh, so just that could make Tarzan the. At, it's only a big question is like who's gonna kill the other one first? Who's gonna bring down their durability fast enough? 
But I don't. But I just don't see Tarzan making that like that lightning feat. You know, bringing his strength to that point. So yeah. Th so this that's my prediction. Greg wins. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And the results are in. The winner is. Tarzan! He's now 2-0 in universes, and he has plenty of good matchups, so perhaps he could return again someday. Just hopefully with better backstory coverage next time. <laughs> Oof. It's no secret that Grug is the stronger one. Able to toss around fully grown humans with ease, he can move much larger boulders than Tarzan, and his insane log kicking feat is definitely more than anything Tarzan has done. But if you remember, I highballed that feat by weighing the log as if it were solid, when it was clearly hollowed out. And even then, it isn't big enough of a lead in strength to automatically give Grug the win, especially considering the other stats. Grug may be stronger and more durable, but he still remains in Tarzan's stat range of high-end wall level. So on top of that, we can add the fact that Tarzan is way faster. Both can sprint at speeds faster than 25 mile per hour animals, but only Tarzan has reacted to shotgun fire, which is a huge upgrade. Then of course, Tarzan has the arsenal advantage. Sure, Grug is resourceful, but that resourcefulness depends on if the environment has something useful for him to use, while Tarzan always and already has a trusty spear in hand. Next up is their intelligence, which Tarzan also takes the clear lead in. He's been able to learn all new languages way faster than most people, he can speak to animals, and he's way more strategic. Grug's main tactic while fighting is to try and scare off his foes with loud shouting and roars, and I think it's pretty obvious that that wouldn't work on Tarzan. Besides, Tarzan's done his fair share of scaring too. Tarzan sniffs out danger, is mobile and agile enough to avoid it, and often uses his foe's weaknesses against them, like when he got a snake to wrap itself around a tree so it couldn't reach him. Finally, there's the fact that Grug relies on his family. His only attack formations involve them. 90% of the time, the they're used to fighting on a team and not solo argument doesn't matter one bit since the leaders of the teams are usually capable of handling their own team or taking care of themselves, but in Grug's case it's actually kinda true. Tarzan literally takes every category except for strength and durability. Grug merely survives the jungle while Tarzan is the king of it. The winner is... Tarzan. Get ready for the next battle! <laughs> okay... You know, I don't feel so good. Ugh. <sighs>